Hey everyone, today I wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been up to on the Mirror Game Jam. And I've only been working on it for the past two days, and not alone, I'm working with an artist from Italy, and his name's Andre, and I'm also working with a musician, I don't know how to pronounce the name so I'll pop the SoundCloud up now. And Andre's been working on the mesh pass assets, like this window frame, window itself, the walls, ground, um, this bit of detail on the walls as well. A bunch of really cool uh, mesh pass assets that will be textured later. And this whole level was just to really test if the art assets work well together, if we had any light mapping problems and all that stuff. And what I've been up to is... Um, I wanted to get the interaction system working, which was a big part of why I did that uh, gravity gun tutorial yesterday. So I could have this system where I can pick up objects, because I knew it was going to be important for the game. Uh, as it's a puzzle action game, so you'll be going in between, I'll show you in a second, these two worlds, and using objects from each world to interact with objects in other worlds, and potentially open new paths, and stuff like that. But yeah, what I've been working on is the level design, development, some lighting, post-processing, interaction systems, uh, jumping, and stuff like that. Um, in terms of other puzzle gameplay, we don't have much of that yet. A bit of what took my time up was this portal mechanic here, and this is what we're really using the theme for, a mirror into another world. So we're going to have these mirrors, this is like a prototype version of it where you can see into the... we're not 100% certain of it yet, but we're going to just call it the past for now. So this zone I'm in now is the present, and this bluey um, type, bluish type lighting, this is the past. And when you go, you can actually go into these places, into the past, and you can see the present time there. And our core concept is, by doing things in the past, you can affect the present. So if there was a door locked in the present, you can unlock it in the past, get into there, and access things that might help you uh, get through that level. And vice versa, you can bring objects from the present into the past to get through various um, obstacles and stuff like that. And another concept we're messing around with soon is that the more you mess around in the past, the more disjointed the present becomes where we could have potentially, over time, the more times you go in and out of the present and past, or the more time you spend in the past, the more disjointed the present becomes, objects begin to kind of float away from each other, so you'd have to jump and platform between them, things might get out of place, potentially gravity might change, there are a lot of cool things we can do. Uh, and we also have this concept of these cool little creatures we'd like to introduce in the past, where you'd have to either stealth or do some form of melee combat with them using like a sledgehammer that you find or something. But yeah, the whole game is this uh, mirror concept where you can go in between these mirrors and solve puzzles in both time periods and progress through the levels. So you'll progress through the levels in the present and the things you do in the past will help um, solve all the puzzles, most of the puzzles in the future. And that's the kind of concept we're going for now. I don't have any puzzles set up yet because I've only, we've only been doing this for two days and a majority of my time went to testing out the art assets, developing a small level and getting this portal mechanic up, which I've still got a ton of work to do to polish it. But um, I'm really happy that we have this already for a prototype. It's really great for two days of work. So yeah, that's what we've been up to. I hope you've all been having a great time in the Mirror Jam. It's been amazing to see all of you guys progress in the itch forums. So I want to do a mini jam update sometime soon uh, to show off the hard work that you have all been putting in. So I hope you enjoyed this little look at my, uh, me, Andres, and the, I can't pronounce his name, but um, I hope you've enjoyed this look at what we've been doing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.